Hello, welcome. Yes, it's uh, another Monday morning muse. Um, the weather here is uh, very, very cold. It's very bright. Oh, there you go. See, very bright, cold. <sighs> really is cold. Um, okay, this week is half term, so uh, normal service is slightly interrupted because it's half term. Although, one thing is, my daughter's gone to Berlin, so uh, it is a bit quieter. So, I've just got the wife at home who. Um, will have me doing things like shopping and cleaning and stuff that I don't normally do in the week because uh, she's usually at school but unfortunately she isn't, she's at home. Anyway, right, so that's that out of the way. So uh, what else has been going on? Uh, last week as well was quite busy so I haven't actually done that much in respect of me painting. Uh, I'm still carrying on with um, these Romans that are Come on, treat that's really nice. I'm telling you, really, really nice uh, sculpts. You know, I'm trying to paint my best I can, and um, it's just fantastic. Do you know what I mean? I, 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 I didn't actually anticipate them being as good as sculpts as they are, and they re but they really are nice. Anyway, there's a black tree design, by the way. Uh, what else? What else? Oh yes, I've been doing some um, stuff on Yerp. So Ian, you'll be pleased. Um, if you don't know what Yerp is, it's my uh, imagination sort of land, and um, I've been doing uh, a bit more to do with the actual, uh, you know I've got this Command and Conquer ancient thing for looking at uh, battle mechanics, well I think I've decided that we will be using that for the big grand battles, um, so I'm working on the um, sort of modifications to, to that to fit in with Yerp because obviously we can't I got to, you got to sort of amalgamate troops out. Um I forget who it was that told me, but somebody told me about the uh Command and Conquers dot uh, net sort of website place and it's an absolute gold mine of information that's gonna help me to sort of work out all of that because it's got loads of different like armies and army builder and all sorts of stuff, so it's brilliant. So that'll be useful because that'll allow me to sort of uh, work out the various troop types for uh, the various nations within um, within Europe, so at least we can then have a fair battle, so good. The other thing I'm doing, thinking and looking at at the moment is the skirmish stuff. Uh, I don't know whether to be using the drums and shakos uh, sort of mechanics um, I don't know yet, I haven't got a clue on sort of like, like small scale skirmish stuff, but that's but we'll we'll have a look and see. Um, the other thing that I'm going to be doing is uh, starting the website for Yerp, which will contain like the gazetteer and the um, you know the information on the, the various areas and stuff. Not that uh, I expect anybody to be particularly interested, because it's just me for my own fun. But I'll be doing that in the next couple of months, I hope, so we can actually start to physically put it together and get it working. But that's Yerp, and um, I like doing Yerp, it's good fun. Uh, if you want to know why it's called Yerp, uh, it's because posh people call Europe Yerp, in England anyway. Uh, I'm off to Yerp, and that's the way it's, um, that's where it comes from. Uh, what else? What was I going to say? There was something that was, as I was talking then, there was something in my head and I thought I'm going to have to say it, mention that because uh, it's interesting, but um, it's suddenly gone, so it must not have brain lying. Hang on, someone's on the phone. Have to go, back in a tick. Right, sorry about that, I was a phone call from work, so I've had to deal with that. Um, right, what, what are we going on? I still can't remember what I was going to say, but there you are. Um, that's age for you, isn't it? Right, my wargaming life. Um, I'm glad to see so many people are getting involved with the big, big build. It's brilliant. Uh, it's going to be a fun project. That, uh, like I say, my Romans are part of that. You know, 28 mil Romans. Um, the monthly community projects. This month is obviously uh, New Year, New Era. Uh, that'll end obviously in the next few day, you know, couple of weeks, because it'll be the end of the month, and uh, the new sort of uh, theme for the following month 
uh, will come up and there will be a voting video going up I think Wednesday uh, maybe tomorrow but more probably Wednesday uh, about that um, and some some cracking suggestions uh, it's a pity we can't do all of them but there you go um, I don't know what, what we're going to do but um, there are some a couple of well all of them are really good but there are a couple of I think oh that'll be that's superb but anyway um, the voting video will go up on Wednesday and uh, that'll go up and you can uh, have a vote so there you go uh, next thing is some questions now I've got a few questions but I'm only going to answer a couple because uh, I want to try and keep this as short as possible because it's half term and uh, I'm a bit constrained for time so the first question comes from my old mucker British Legion he says what do you uh, like best about our hobby is it painting playing or collecting and I can choose only one so um, obviously there's the um, you know Collecting all the miniatures together is great fun. I mean, it's um, it's costly, but it is, it is nice when you think, I need to go and get them, and you get a load of miniatures, and you, you get them, and you unwrap them, and you look at them, and you go, oh, they're lovely. It's like uh, I saw Pancake the other day doing his video on um, 30k, and I have seen the um, 30k game from Games Workshop Stroke Forge World, and... Um, I do quite fancy that, so uh, you see, there you go again. You see, it's the, it's the eyes, it's the eyes, shiny stuff. I want that new shiny stuff. Um, so I'm looking at that, it's something like Kalth, I can't remember, um, Battle of Kalth or something, but it looks uh, it looks uh, it looks really nice. And that, that that's what I get. So you, you see all these miniatures and you think, oh, they're really nice, and you don't buy them. So the collecting part's pretty good, but it, it's a bit sort of naughty really in it because you're going to spend loads of money on stuff that you can't a afford and b don't need um so that's that sort of stuff the playing well i don't play that much with other people at the moment um i suppose i could i could make more effort but um i don't do effort very well in that respect so um i don't really i mean there's a couple of really good wargaming clubs around around in manchester but i don't do you know what i mean i just don't uh I don't make that much effort. I'm quite happy to sort of sit on my own and uh, play solo games. So, but I do like the playing side. But the bit I must really, really, really enjoy at the moment, and I have done for a few years now, is the painting. You know, I love painting the miniatures. Okay, it takes me quite a while, and um, I'm not sort of um, I'm not Paul Alba by any means. Um, you know, but I muck through them and I enjoy doing them and I'm really happy when they, when they go on the shelves up there and I think, well, on the shelves here, I think, oh yeah, they're, uh, they're all good and then, um, that's the bit I really enjoy. I really, really enjoy the painting. Um, I just like taking this blank thing and uh, putting the, uh, the colours on and bringing it to life. And I like it even more because I'm quite, I'm quite badly colour blind and uh, the thing I like is when people look at them and say, oh, the colours are great, and they're brilliant, I can't even fucking see them. <laughs> but there you go. Um, but uh, no, I model through, and uh, I enjoy it. And it's really good. It's, it's also good nowadays that we're on YouTube, and we can uh, share the painting, and also we can go and hang out so on Skype and stuff and do sort of like painting chats and uh, the uh, sort of... You know, sitting there on Skype, having a natter, doing some painting. That sort of really, really added a new dimension to the hobby in my in my, in my world, anyway. Because uh, now I don't have to sit here in silence in me in my dungeon painting to his soldiers. Next one, he said, uh, "Have you ever played?" Oh, sorry, Michael Huxley. Sorry, have you ever played any air war games, uh, board or tabletop, using one forty fourth, one seventy second scale models? what's your thought on this type of war game well I haven't no I haven't the air side of stuff doesn't actually fascinate me because I'm not really into airplanes um, the only games like that I have actually played are um, space battle games obviously uh, I'm referring here to Battlefleet Gothic um, I do like the look of um, so I, I never forget the Star Wars one, not the small tiny one, the Armada I think that is, but the bigger one. Um, they look good. I'd like to get into them, but I just I just can't I just can't 
get into planes. Do you know what I mean? I can't really get into into painting planes. I, I mean, I've painted planes in the past as a child, but um, it's not something that's really ever appealed to me. So, unfortunately, no, I haven't actually um, played any air, air games. There was one as a kid, I seem to remember, that we did play. Uh, and it was like a hex based game, and it had like little aircraft, they were pre painted. I mean, when I say kid, I'm talking about like 1973, uh, and it was sort of like um, the plane sat on the top of these posts, and I can't remember, I think it was like something like Battle of Britain, it was something like a Spitfire or something, uh, let's say early 70s, it'd be made by somebody like Waddington's or Hasbro or whatever. Um, Back in the seventies, I must admit I did enjoy that. And you could like make uh, like different type, like different type planes were higher or lower. And you, it, I do, do you remember? There's a dim and distant past. That was. I don't really um, remember it clearly. But I used to enjoy that. Me and my brother used to play it for ages. Um, but I can't remember what it was called. Um, but it was like say a board game with the hexes, and you moved them around, and it was it was good. But that was like I say. I have flashing memories of that. I have lots of flashing memories from eons ago, but um, that's, that's due to being old. So, uh, sorry, Michael, I can't really answer you any further on that, other than that um, I like playing the space games like Battlefleet Gothic, um, and I'm looking at like the Star Wars game. Is it Imperial Assault? Is it? I don't know what it's called, but it's the bigger one. The one's been. Um, Look back to my videos, I talked about it earlier on. It's age, it's been brain going. So, um, yeah, those are the sort of games I like. They just don't appeal to me, I'm sorry. So I can't really say um, any any more detailed thoughts on that. But um, I suppose if you like them, they're good. So, there you go. Anyway, that's it for today. I've got a few more questions to answer, but I'll do them next week when I've got more time. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, um, if you aren't already doing the My Wargaming Gaming Life Big Build, go across the site and uh, have a have a mooch and sign up. You don't have to do. You don't have to spend any money, or you can spend as much as you like. It's not actually a competition. It's just something to aim for. Um, it's just about getting a regular sort of stuff done in order to get an army. So just taking parts just as good. Um, so, anyway, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next week. And I'll probably see you on Wednesday with the um, voting video. Bye.